The standoff between Kenya Football Federation FKF and the Kenya Premier League Management KPL on the 2015 season league format has taken a new twist with national branch chairmen and secretaries throwing their weight behind the federation. The resolutions as adopted in the annual general meeting is irreversible, binding to all members and has the full packing of the Football Kenya Federation Constitution. FKF is advocating for an expansion of the league to 18 clubs with Shabana FC, Rangers FC, Nakumat FC and Homeboys FC expected to join the league next year while KPL Management Council is standing its ground to receive only two teams and continue with the 16 teams league. In unison, the chairman present resolved on a competitive bidding by other companies to replace KPL management should they remain hell-bent on the new changes. In the unlikely event that K KBL fails to fully comply with the reference directives, we mandate Football Kenya Federation to retender the running of the league and open it for competitive bidding. Uh, we have heard so many voices about the possibility of disbanding KPL. We are saying, Your Excellency, to, with your leadership, that that will not happen because we want football as a key sport to continue developing. And we are telling the key players, led by FKF and others, to sort their house out and sit down and make sure that the sport is not damaged in any way. Kenya Premier League, which is a limited company, is managed by all the Premier League club's chairmen who make up the KPL Management Council and who are affiliates of the Federation. However, KPL itself is not an affiliate of FKF. Football Kenya Federation to license all players in the league including the Premier League. In the event that the Premier League clubs fail to meet the deadline for affiliation, registration fee by 15th December 2014, which is today, we mandate the National Executive Committee to replace the clubs. With these resolutions in place and registration of KPL clubs with the Federation coming to a close by Monday midnight, 18 clubs had already registered with 20,000 Kenya shillings. During a recent visit to State House by the 2014 Tasca Premier League champions Gormahia and the GoTV champions of Opaka, the president Uhuru Kenyatta voiced his concerns over the on and off wrangles that have been weakening the sport in the country, sentiments that were backed by the sports cabinet secretary Hassan Wario. You've been charged with the management of this sport for the benefit and on behalf of the people of this republic. We ask them also to do what it is that they must do, to promote this sport. All these wrangles and financial issues that consistently keep cropping up are things that they should put in the past. Theirs is to help us promote this sport, help us promote these young people, and not to be engaged in all sorts of uh, uh, wasteful uh, um, squabbling, which helps nobody. Forming the KPL is very important in professionalizing the league so that it runs on its own uh, around our company, the KPL. Other resolutions adopted was decision to move all judicial functions and appointment of referees to FKF and all contractual obligations with KPL sponsors to be availed to the Federation. After the league format saga settles, the Federation will embark on carrying out a forensic audit of KPL accounts of the year 2011, 2012 and 2013. All this unfolds before the highly anticipated FIFA delegation visit to resolve the league format standoff on the 19th of this month. Florence Ndongo, GBS News.